the faces or phases of the moon astronomy book for kids in this book we're going to talk about the eight different phases of earth's moon so let's get right to it Have you ever wondered why the moon looks different every night? Sometimes it looks like a big, round, shiny ball. Sometimes it looks like a banana. And sometimes it doesn't show up in the sky at all. Ancient peoples wondered why it disappeared completely and why it came back. Of course, today we know that it hasn't disappeared but you might wonder why it goes through a regular pattern of different faces every month. Some people think that it's Earth's shadow that causes the different looks of the moon, but this isn't true. The different faces that we see of the moon are called its phases. There are eight phases. It goes through every 29.5305 Eight two days or approximately every 29.5 days. The phases of the moon are the basis for our monthly calendar. Understanding the phases of the moon. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite. There are man-made satellites that orbit the Earth too. As the moon goes around planet Earth, its position changes relative to the sun, and this makes the moon go through its regular phases. From our Earth viewpoint, the moon changes its shape every night. But, of course, the physical shape of the moon doesn't change. It's only the pattern of a reflected sunlight that changes. Primitive peoples were intrigued by these changes and use the shape-shifting moon to create a lunar calendar. The Muslim, as well as the Hebrew and Chinese calendars, are all set up this way. The new moon is at the beginning of the calendar month, and full moon always falls mid-month. However, most modern calendars don't work this way because the year would end up being 12 days too short. A lunar month at 29.53 days is actually a little shorter than the standard month that we use in our calendar today, which is an average of 30.44 days. The moon's light comes from the sun. The moon doesn't have its own light source. The shine that we see when we look at the moon is actually reflected sunlight. You can do a very simple experiment yourself to see how this works. Take a lampshade off a lamp and set it up in a very dark room. The darker the room is, the better your experiment will work. The lamp will represent the sun. Get a smooth white foam ball about four inches wide and stick a long pencil through the bottom of it. This ball will represent the moon. Your head is going to be the earth as you're observing from earth. Only one side of the moon faces the earth. We never see its dark side because it's tidally locked with us. For the purposes of this experiment, all you have to do is keep the sun in the same place and have the moon revolve around you, the Earth. As the moon moves, you'll notice that one side of it is always lit by the sun. However, depending on where the moon is located in its 29.5 day orbit, we on Earth only see part of that sunlit area. The rest is in shadow. As the moon gradually orbits the Earth, the amount we see of the sunlight reflection waxes and wanes. 
which simply means it increases and then lessens. The Phases of the Moon The phases change as the moon goes around the Earth during the new moon and dark moon phases. We can't see any reflection of sunlight from the moon's surface. At this point in its orbit, the moon is located between the Earth and the Sun. As the moon continues on its path around the Earth, an observer can see more and more of the side that is lit by the Sun. Finally, the moon gets to the Earth's opposite side. At this point, we can see a bright, shiny, full moon as the moon continues its travels around the Earth. We are seeing less of the sunlight with each passing day until we can't see even a sliver of reflected sunlight at all. What is waxing and what is waning? As the moon continues from when we don't see it at all to when we see it as a full moon, the light that we see continues to increase every night. This period of the moon cycle is called waxing. After we see the full moon, the light starts to decrease every night until it gets to the dark moon phase. This decrease in light is called waning. What's the difference between a dark moon and a new moon? The dark moon is the time period when an observer from Earth can't see the moon in the sky. This time lasts between one to three days, depending on where you are observing from Earth. It's the time range between when the waning or decreasing moon ends and the waxing or increasing moon begins again. The new moon occurs at exactly the midpoint of the dark moon phase. At this point, the moon is right in between the decreasing and increasing phases. The eight phases of the moon in order. The eight phases of the moon in order are one, the new moon phase, two, the waxing crescent, three, the first quarter moon phase, four, the waxing gibbous moon, five, the full moon, six, the waning gibbous moon, seven, the last quarter moon, and eight, the waning crescent moon. Then the cycle starts over again. The moon gradually moves from phase to phase and looks a little different every night. Let's look at each phase in detail in the order in which they cycle through every month. New Moon When the moon is positioned directly between the Earth's position and the Sun's position, we can't see any light reflected from its surface. This is when it goes into the dark moon phase, which lasts one to three days. The midpoint of this cycle is called the new moon. A solar eclipse can only happen when the moon is in the new moon phase of its cycle. Waxing Crescent Moon This phase is a crescent shape that looks something like a banana with its curved edge to the right. A waxing crescent means that on subsequent days, the observer will see more and more of the sunlit portion of the moon. First quarter moon. This phase is called the first quarter because by the time the moon has made one quarter or one fourth of its trip around the earth, it's somewhat confusing through because you as an observer would see the right hand side of the moon lit up and the left hand side in shadow, half and half. Waxing Gibbous Moon During this phase, the sunlight on the moon's face has gotten larger and is spreading over to the left side. We're still in the waxing stage here, 
which means that the amount of sunlight we see reflected night after night is increasing. Full Moon When the moon is positioned directly opposite to its position at the new moon, then an Earth observer sees a bright, round, full, shiny moon. This occurs when instead of being between the Earth and the Sun, it is on Earth's opposite side. This position is called opposition. This is the only phase position where a lunar eclipse can occur. Waning Gibbous Moon Now that we've reached the full moon, there's only one place to go, and that's the beginning of the decreasing phase. As it starts to decrease, sunlight disappears from the right edge of the moon and keeps moving left. Last Quarter Moon At this point, the last one-fourth of the moon's complete cycle around the Earth the sunlight covers over the left side of the moon's face, and the right-hand side is in darkness. Waning Crescent Moon The waning crescent once again looks banana-shaped, with its curved edge facing the left this time. The sunlight decreases with every passing day until the dark moon occurs and we can't see the moon in the sky for a few days. Difference between Northern and Southern Hemispheres The descriptions of the moon's phase in this book are only for the Northern Hemisphere. For the Southern Hemisphere, the viewpoints are flipped. For example, for the last quarter moon in Australia, this moon would appear with sunlight over its right side and shadow over its left. What is a blue moon? Usually during a calendar month, we only have one full moon. But sometimes, since the modern calendar is not a lunar calendar, there's a second full moon within the same month. This only happens once every three years or so. This event is where the expression, once in a blue moon, comes from. The dark side of the moon. All these phases of the moon are on the same side of the moon, the only side we see. That side is always pointed toward us. The other side is called the dark side because it never faces us, which means we are tidally locked. Awesome! Now you know more about why we see different phases of the moon. You can find more astronomy books from Baby Professor by searching the website of your favorite book retailer.